At the renovated Heston Speedway, four drivers have a shot at the Semele title. Number 56 Brian Musselman and the 88 of Brian Wyatt have battled for the top spot all season. Lately, though, Rick Singleton has wedged himself between the two, where he is only 17 points out of first. Jeff Miller in fourth place could be a factor also. In the street stocks, John Ryan has more than double the number of feature wins over his nearest competitor, 66-year-old John Grum. Yet Grum only trails by 27 points. Travis Flegel, Heston native Mike Shoemaker, and Donnie Williams are still in contention. 34D Bob Dunn has swapped the four-cylinder points lead with Jason Covert all season. Covert in the number 15 is eyeing the division title. Well, it means a lot. We've been in it eight years and uh, done it for a long time at Pad Valley and Hill Valley when I started. But uh, we moved up here last year when they reopened. And a little tougher up here. It seems like you got to have a lot of horsepower so, and some smooth driving. The season finale, October 1st, will determine the three division champions. Sorry, we have no points totals from Jennerstown, but we can tell you that Charlie Cragen, the NASCAR Winston Racing Series Northeast Division leader, may have been affected the most by last night's rainout. Going into this weekend's racing, Cragen had a winning percentage of .649, which is less than Sunbelt region leader Jack Sprague. Winning percentage is one of three index handicappers used to determine the national champion. Scott Jackson wrote in reminding us that Gary Deem of Duncansville is in the late model points lead at Hidden Valley with three races remaining. You know, before I go, I'd like to thank everyone for their cooperation and support this season. The season's not quite over yet, so I'm going to grab my trusty helmet and head to the track. Hope to see you at the races.